Welcome back everyone, so it seems with the Rise of Iron not only will there be a new raid and story, there will be new playable areas, a new social space and much more. As you can tell in this video we have some very, very exciting stuff to talk about with the Rise of Iron, there's been a lot of leaks today with some juicy information. So first off we've got a new teaser trailer for the upcoming reveal livestream. It's rather short and doesn't really show much as it is just a teaser, but here it is in case you haven't seen it. So as you just saw, it shows Lord Saladin approaching this destroyed wall. Now there is something you may not have noticed in this teaser. When it cuts to this shot of the darkness beyond the wall, there's something there. It's very difficult to see at first, but there's actually some figures emerging from the darkness. Well, there's no need to speculate on this too much, as we might already know what these creatures could be, and I'll come back to this in a second. Now just before we get a bit more in depth with things, I just want to show off a couple of things that my good friend Fuzzle pointed out. In these few frames here of Lord Saladin, if you look closely, you can see that he's not actually wearing his helmet. In fact, he's holding his helmet in his right hand. So it's a possibility that we could be seeing Lord Saladin's face for the first time in this expansion. Now this isn't definite, this could have just been done for the teaser and we may actually never see his face, but it's just something to think about. Now, possibly the biggest piece of information we got today was a leak from the Xbox website. If you went to the Xbox store, there was a page for the Rise of Iron which contained some big details. So this is the full description given on the page. The wall which stood for centuries along the southern border of old Russia has collapsed. Fallen mutants now scavenge the tombs of the Golden Age, and the plague they have unearthed in the wastes is more dangerous than they even understand. Join Lord Saladin. Journey into the Plague Lands, learn the fate of the Iron Lords, and stop the growing threat before it's too late. Wow, so this is very interesting. Let's look at this piece by piece. So firstly, this is located along the southern border of Old Russia, so that confirms it. This is definitely Old Russia, however this is a different area of the wall, not the Old Russia that we currently have. Next it mentions Fallen Mutants. Okay, what? Fallen Mutants, so the expansion is going to be Fallen based, but with a twist, so not quite the same Fallen we know. Now it's possible that we've actually seen these Fallen Mutants before, and I'd like to thank Arix Gaming for pointing this out. Back at GDC 2013, we got this piece of concept art showing what we thought was the Hive, and it appears as though they were inside a building that looks similar to the walls of old Russia. This was kind of just blown off as early concept art for the Hive, but now with this new information, it's possible that these creatures could be the mutant Fallen. This creature in the image here has four arms, just like the Fallen, so it could be these mutants that are seen in the teaser. And the building they're inside does have similar architecture as the walls of old Russia. Next it says journey into the plague lands, which I'm going to come back to in a moment. And lastly it says learn the fate of the Iron Lords and stop the growing threat before it's too late. Now for those who don't know who the Iron Lords are, they're a group of guardians known for protecting the city in some of the most important battles, and they're mentioned a lot in the lore. There were 9 Iron Lords and they were commemorated through the Iron Banner. If you'd like to learn more about the Iron Lords, there'll be a link to a video I made a couple weeks ago in the description. Anyway, moving on, according to the features listed on the Xbox page, Rise of Iron will include new story campaign and quests, new armour and gear, new weapons, new raid, maximum light increase, new strike, new plague land zone and social space, new crucible modes and maps, and new enemy faction and bosses. Now the thing that stood out to me most here is the new plague land zone and social space. So the plague lands is the name of the new area we'll be getting on earth, located along the border of old Russia, and it's this plague that has created these fallen mutants. As for the social space, this is especially interesting because we don't actually know where this could be. Back when Destiny released, we kind of always knew the reef was going to be a social space, it was just a matter of when it would be added, but this new social space coming in the Rise of Iron was completely unexpected, and so we don't know where it could be. Now since Lord Saladin features as the main character in this expansion, 
My thinking is that the new social space could be Lord Saladin's own personal hub somewhere on Earth. It would be awesome to see this social space decorated in Iron Banner themed items, similar to how Osiris' lighthouse is Vex themed. The rest of the stuff listed there was kind of expected as with all expansions, new gear, new weapons, increased light level cap, new crucible modes and maps, and new enemies. However, it doesn't say strikes, just new strike, as in one, which is a little bit odd considering the Taken King came with three strikes, four if you count the PlayStation exclusive strike, so one strike does seem a little bit odd as this expansion is supposedly similar in size to the Taken King. Anyway, that is it for this video, let me know what you think about all of this, I know I'm definitely hyped for this, I'm really excited to see what Bungie has in store for us and to have some new stuff to do. I'm also really excited about the idea of more locations on Earth, as well as a Fallen Raid. There's something about the aesthetic of the locations on Earth that I especially like above the rest. Also, Wolves. Anyway, keep an eye out on my channel for more in-depth breakdowns of everything Bungie shows in the reveal stream, as well as everything in the coming weeks. I'm going to be doing my best to bring you all the information that I can. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you next time.